There's an old saying that says practice makes perfect, but that's simply not the case because if you're practicing something wrong over and over again, then you're just learning your music perfectly wrong. In today's Music Lessons with Mrs. Morris, we will be learning several strategies that will help you become a more accomplished musician. So let's get started. Setting up a schedule to practice three to four times a week in 20 to 30 minute intervals is a good start. As you move from being a beginner to advanced, you're going to want to increase that time. Having a schedule will help you to be consistent in practicing. When students practice, they often want to play or sing from the beginning to the end over and over again. Some songs may be too difficult for you to practice this way. This is where chunking can be helpful. Chunking is when you take smaller sections of your music, perhaps a phrase or maybe even just a measure, and work on it until you've mastered it. Then when you've learned it, move on and work on the next hard section. If you are working on a passage that has lots of fast notes, metronome practice can really help you to get your fingerings down. Here's an example. Let's say your music looks like this, and it's supposed to go 144 beats per minute. A great way to accomplish playing this is to set the metronome at half the tempo. Now that may feel boring to play that way, but trust me, once you've mastered it correctly, it will be so much easier to play when you speed the tempo up again. Try increasing the tempo by increments of two to three beats per minute. This repetitive, slow practice creates muscle memory and in no time you'll be playing like a pro. This goes along with both chunking and metronome practice. When I am working on a difficult passage of music, I often make sure I can play it at least three times in a row successfully before I move on to the next passage or before I increase the tempo speed. Here's how it works. If I play it right two times in a row, but then mess up on the next try, I start all over again until I can get three times in a row. However, keep in mind that sometimes we're just having a bad day, so don't get frustrated, move on and try again another day. One of the best things you can do to learn your songs more quickly is to practice your fundamentals like scales and arpeggios. Your songs are all built on specific scales, key signatures, and chords. Having a firm foundation and understanding on how these work will help you not only to learn the songs you've been assigned to this year, but the many that you will play in years to come. Don't forget to make learning fun. Take time to learn all kinds of music and in a variety of ways. There's lots of music apps, tutorials on YouTube, and programs you can subscribe to. One that I recommend is TomPlay. With a TomPlay subscription, you gain access to tons of music that is interactive. Imagine being able to play a song while being backed by an entire orchestra. You can also choose your own tempos, check fingering charts, and record yourself. Another feature is that you can practice your scales with TomPlay in the TomPlay Skills section. If you are interested in seeing what they have to offer, just click the link in the description box below. And if you decide to purchase their subscription, I get commissioned for purchases made through this link. I hope this video has inspired you to take your music to the next level. See you next time!